and welcome back to Jimbo's PC Builds. Today we're going to do another unboxing video. So today I'm going to be unboxing another mouse. This is a mouse from Glorious. It's the Model i2 Wireless. I'll unbox it, give you my first impressions, and then I'm going to compare it to some other mice in terms of weight, um, the clicks, the general feel, etc, etc. Just to give you an overall sort of first impression from a buying point of view. So if you wanted to buy this mouse, it'll give you a little bit of help. All right, without further ado, let's unbox it. down here as well. That's interesting, there's the first thing that comes out is like a cardboard folder, it's got like a rubber ring on it, I guess that's to hold the uh, mouse in place. So let's have a look what's in here. It's like your instructions, your um, your barcode for anything that you need, uh, scar code for uh, instruction video, on, uh, then it tells you about your RGB, and of course you get the obligatory Glorious sticker. So that's what comes in a nice cardboard folder. Moving on, the main event itself, we get the mouse. Now, looking at the mouse, you can see it's different than, say, the Model O or the Model D um, because it's got the wing on the side, so it's more of an ergonomic design and it'll hold closer to the floor. So we get the mouse, and let's see what else we get in the box. We, of course, get the same type of cable you get with the Model O wireless and the Model D wireless, where you get the um, USB to USB, sorry, USB A to USB C charging cable. So it can also act as wired, so if you've got this plugged into your computer, it can charge it, but you can also use it as wired as well. Anything else in here? Oh, there's a little box. I don't think there's anything in it, but I'll check. If I can get in it. Oh, there is. There is something in it. There is a USB... B to USB-C adapter, and oh, oh, interesting, it looks like there's some changeable buttons, interesting, and there's a little key also that comes with it, so there's like, don't know if you can see that there, there's five, look like, I think they're interchangeable buttons for the side, because you've got these they're very glossy buttons here, it looks like they're changeable buttons for the side, or spare buttons for the side. So yeah, it looks like you'll be able to do that. Alright, I'm going to take the old stickers off the bottom, so we can give it a bit of a test. Then we'll get the other mice out, we'll compare it, etc, etc. So now taking the stickers off, I'm going to basically give it a, a good go on the mouse mat. Now we noticed on the bottom of this mouse, compared to say others, it's got actually it's got six feet. It's got one on the, the, the like the bit that sticks out for the for your thumb, and it's got uh, two on the two on the back uh, on the top and bottom, which is fairly standard. But it's also got one on the other side as well, so it'd be interesting to see how it glides. It's got four buttons on the side, as I highlighted before when looking at the spare buttons that come outside. So there'll be function buttons for there. It looks like there's RGB strips down each side, so there's lighting going to be on each side of the mouse. You've got two buttons on the top, and you've got the scroll wheel and the obligatory two. On the bottom, you've got a DPI indicator, and you've also got the ability to to, uh, to switch it between 2.4 uh, gigahertz, and you can switch uh, turn it off or then move it to Bluetooth. On the front, you've got where the actual charging cable slash USB cable goes in if you want to use it as wired. So there you go. Let's see how it actually moves around. It's very very smooth. Very, very, very smooth. I think that extra feet means that when you swish from side to side, there's no like 
extra side of the mouse or anything like that catching on the on the on the uh, on the mat it really glides very very well now i've had a look at how it glides let's actually bring the mice over that i'm going to compare it to so you can see what we're going to look at first of all it's stable mate the uh, model d wireless i'm also going to be compare it to the keychron m1 wireless the keychron M3 wireless and last but not least and I'm introducing this one because or basically of its shape that's very similar it's the Logitech G602 okay so let's start with the G602 and see how that glides and by the way in the hand I can tell this is much heavier than all the other mice this glides really well as well but very similar to the i2 wireless it's actually got multiple feet it's got one on each side one of my feet has actually come off and it's got one on the top so it's it's very very similar so it's going to hold up and glide very very well I can tell it's got um, a, it's a heavy amount it's you have to work harder to push it around so it's not as easy to move but it still glides very well if you look in terms of function buttons it's very very similar in terms of the way design it's actually got more function buttons on the side but the function buttons I would say are smaller and very close together so unless you're like if you've got more fingers and you're quite skilled then you'll be able to use them but otherwise if you've got like a big fat thumb like me I'll probably end up hitting multiples at the same time so I think I actually prefer having less function buttons on the side compared to that on the underneath you've just got an on off button there's no uh, the DPI isn't controlled there's no indicator there uh, and you've basically got a scroll button and then you've got two function buttons on the top so you've got these two there so it's very similar in design it's in terms of the feel it's much more bulbous than the i2 but yeah i think the weight is going to be the big difference on that so if we compare it to the model d wireless the model d glides very well but and it's very very it feels lighter than the i2 and it's definitely lighter than the g602 but yeah that does glide very well now let's get on to the Keychron mice and compare those. Now the Keychron mice, they have three feet. Well, sorry, I didn't say on the on the Model D, only it has four and it has one in each corner. This only has three, but it covers a lot of both the top and bottom because it's a circular that covers most of it. That also glides very well and also feels about the same weight as the IT. It'll be interesting to see what the weight comes out. And finally on to the M3. This only has two very small feet at the top and one across the bottom so let's see how that glides you can actually I can actually feel especially if I press down a little bit I feel a little bit of friction at the top I think it could have done with more but I, again it feels around the same weight as the i2 so interesting to see that so let's get the scales out and we'll check out the weight of all five mice so I'm just zeroing it to make sure it's in a super position and first of all we'll go with the i2 wireless 73 grams the model d wireless 71 grams interesting i thought that felt a lot lighter the m1 is 81 grams so it's actually heavier than the i2 the m1 78 grams so again slightly heavier and last one which we know it's going to be a lot heavier. Let's see how much heavier it really is. 152 grams. So over twice the weight of the i2. All right, without further ado, now we've looked at the individual weights. Let's get the camera in closer and we'll do like the click test of all the buttons so you can see what they all sound like. First up, the i2 wireless. Next up, the Model D wireless. Next, the M3 wireless.
Next, the M1 wireless. Last but not least, the G602. So what are my final thoughts of the of the i2? Um, I don't really compare with price on any of these because the price of mice can fluctuate so often so what I end up buying it for and what you end up guys would end up buying it for could differ quite dramatically so I'm not going to do that. What I, I'm just going to look at the features and, and say generally how I think this feels in my hand and how much you know it, and it's a good mice compared to those. It's, 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 it's got a good back shape so you've got a good bul bulge at the back to get your hand into so if you're doing a claw grip it sits really well. Your thumb sits very, very nicely on the actual ledge at the side. And as I've already mentioned, it glides really well. The scroll wheel is excellent. I really like it. The buttons at the back, the one thing I would say is because they're so far back, you have to, you can, you, you have to pull your grip off to access them. The buttons on the side, the three at the front could be useful. The one at the back, Again, it's so far back, you've got to, if you're going to use your thumb, you've got to pull your grip off. So for me, the two buttons on the top, not so great position wise. The one at the back, not great, but the other three buttons, they're very useful because they're very separated and easy to access with your thumb. So all in all, I think it's a really good mouse. I think if you're after a more of a mouse that's less, say, slim than the Model D or the M1 or the M3, I think you're in good shape. I think this has got a bit more girth to it in terms of actual, especially if you've got like a thicker hand like I have where you want to do a claw grip. I think if you're not doing a claw grip, it's going to be a little bit awkward. I think the Model D would be a better shoot for you in that particular case. But all in all, I think it's a great mouse. All right, I hope you found that information useful. If you did, please top a like, toss a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe onto the channel. If you've got a question on this mouse or any of the mice that I've looked at today and compared with it, please com put comments down below. If you've got a mouse that you've, you would like me to unbox and look at, then please also leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get to it as soon as I can. And that's it. I, I hope you're well and take care.